Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Jimmy Studios and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your PlayStation 4 controller on your Android phone with Dolphin Emulator to play Nintendo Wii game, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Now, the problem with the Wii Mote is that when emulating it, there are a lot of things to take into consideration. For example, you could have just this, you can attach a nunchuck to it, you can hold it this way, you can hold it that way, and each game has a different configuration. So today I'm going to show you the best way to play games like Super Mario Bros. Wii or Kirby's Epic Yarn, which is in the Wiimote sideways configuration. So you hold it and play it like this. Now you can just use a regular Wiimote for this, but you do need to buy a dolphin bar, like a Bluetooth dolphin bar which is basically the infrared receiver that you put on top of the CV or the motion bar as it's also called. But you can also use a PlayStation 4 controller, which is much easier to set up. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. You can also use an Xbox One controller. I'm going to show you that in a different video. And if you don't know how to install Dolphin Emulator, then you can check out one of my previous videos. If you do use this video and you like it, then please hit that like button. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. So let's just dive into the tutorial, shall we? So once you've got Dolphin Emulator running on your phone and your PlayStation 4 control connected using my previous videos, click the top right free tower dots here and select Wii Input. Once you've done that, click on Wii Remote 1 and when it says emulated, click emulated and it'll bring you up to this section here. Now the top bit is the extension. You can have a classic controller, nunchuck, guitar, drums, turntable. As you can see already, there are plenty of different things you can connect to a Wiimote, which makes emulating it all that much more difficult, along with the fact that it has lots of motion controls. You can set it up so that your phone reacts to the motion as well, but because I don't have one of those fancy grips, I can't really set that up. So I use the controller to emulate the motion as well. If a company out there that does one of those fancy grips for controllers wants to send me one so I can do tutorials on that, then I'm not going to say no, am I? So anyway, first thing we're going to do is to set this up. And we're going to take a look at the Wiimote, where the buttons are there and where I would like them on the controller. So the first button is the A button, which is this big button here doesn't really do much in the game so I'm going to set that to triangle on the PlayStation controller so press triangle so you tap the button that you want so I tapped a and triangle the B button which is the back button here on the Wiimote now I'm going to set that to the right trigger here or as it's called on PlayStation I get mixed up with PlayStation Xbox the R2 button is it still called R2 these days Yes, it is still called R2. So, the one button, which on the Wiimote is here, which is usually used for run, I'm going to set that to square on the PlayStation controller. So, press it, press square, and then the two button, which is the, usually the jump button, I'm going to set that to X, because I have cross as my jump normally. Then we have the minus button, which is one of the start and select buttons on the Wiimote. I'm going to set that to the right analog stick in because the share button on the PlayStation controller is actually set to do this. So when you press it too many times, it's going to bring up that you don't want that to happen. And then obviously the plus section, I'm going to press plus. I'm going to set that to the options button. There we go. And then the home button, I'm going to set that to the actual home button on the PlayStation, which actually works as a button. Scrolling down, we have the IR controls, which you can set up, but it's pretty pointless because this game doesn't use the IR receiver as the remote control is on its side and not facing this way. And motion is pretty pointless in this game. The only motion that you're going to want to set up on this game is the shake, because when you shake the Wii controller like this, then you're going to want that set up so that it can do the spin jump. So what you're going to want to do is when it says X, click that. I have this set to L2, so I can jump and press L2 to shake. Press the Y, press L2, press the Z, and press L2. And there we go. And now the D-pad. Now for the D-pad, we're going to have to do something different. Usually I just go up, down, left, right. But because the Wii Remote is on its side, 
the controls are a bit different. So therefore, for up, we're going to want to press left on the D-pad. Down, we're going to want to press right on the D-pad. Left, we're going to want to press down on the D-pad. And right, we're going to want to press up on the D-pad. Now, you might get this wrong the first time, as I have done many times on this already. I've done this like three or four times now. And uh, for some reason, left is up. For some reason, right is down. For some reason, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, but it works. And, and, and I can't understand why it works. Because I've, I've had the two pads together. And I, what I did was I turned it around the way I'd play it, like this. And when I play it like this, right is up on the D-pad. But for some reason, when I put it in with this and play the game, left is up on the D-pad. Right is down on the D-pad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all very confusing, but you might have to go through it a few different times. But the way that I found that it works is that left is up, right is down, and vice versa. Like I said, set it out when I did this. I know it sounds very confusing, but the D-pad, you're just going to have to try <laughs> a couple of different things. As long as left or right is up and down, or up and down is left and right. And when you play the game, it works fine, then it should be fine for you. So I'm just going to save those settings now and test to see if this works. And there we go. The game is loading up. Hold the Wiimote sideways like that. Running smooth. Still can't believe that this is a phone running a Nintendo Wii game. Here we go. And let me test to see if those controls work. Yep, left is now left. Right is right. Let's see if up and down are in the right direction as well by jumping. Yep, down, up, up down and if i hold square i run and jump and then press the i can shake at the same time <laughs> that's embarrassing i died it was a stupid way to die there we go and we're back in the game's running quite smooth, but it feels... Something feels off about the timing. I don't know if it's because I've not played this for a long time. And I'm used to the silky smoothness of Super Mario Bros. Wii U. But it does feel like it's lagging a bit, even though it says 60 frames per second. But all the controls are working the right way. Would I recommend playing this... Like this? Probably not. What matters is that it's running, it's running smooth, and the controller and the controls are working. Oh, well, that's the shake. Perfect, perfect run of that level. So there you have it. Mario time. It's Mario time. So there you have it. New Super Mario Brothers Wii and the Wii Side Mounts configuration on your PlayStation 4 controller using Dolphin emulation on an Android phone. Let me know down in the comments if you use this. If you find it useful, let me know how Dolphin emulator runs on your phone. I'd be very interested to see as every phone is going to be different because every phone has different processors. Every phone has different RAM. If you've liked this video, then please hit that like button. I'm going to be doing lots of tips and tricks, including how to make these games run smoother and what settings you can do to and what settings you can do to improve performance on an Android phone. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.